Thanks for clicking on the video today, everybody. This is going to be the third part of my Polyhaven free material series. So there is going to be one more after this, but this is, that one's only going to have about half of the materials that the first three had. So this one is going to be another 70 materials, and I'm going to show you how to quickly install that into Lumion. So there should be a link below the video that just will take you to a Google Drive. Uh, you just click on that and then you should see the zip file right here. So you just have to go download here and it should take you about five to 10 minutes. I think, uh, it's about six and a half gigs. I do have it downloaded right here. So I'll just pull it up here and it's just in a zip file. So I use uh seven zip. What I have to do is I just say open with, I hit okay. And then I can just double tap this and materials is right there. So to install this, you go to the C drive program files, and then I have Lumion, it says 11.3. This part, I think this one will reflect the version that you have, whereas in the documents, it's just like the first number. So if you have Lumion 11, 11.3, 11.5, in the documents, it's always gonna show 11.0. So if you do have 11.3 or 11.5, that's how you know you're looking at the right spot. So you just double tap in here, architect edition, project. And now what we can do is we actually see the materials folder here. We're going to take this one and we're going to drag it into this folder, but not into the materials folder. You want to drag it into the project folder, click here, and then everything is going to start loading in. I've already gone through and set everything up into folders in a particular way that when you drag the zip file into the Lumion library, all of them will just automatically sort into the correct place. So I've already installed all these. So it's just going to say you have to replace them. So I'll just click this here. You probably won't get this message, but if you do just click continue and it's not a problem. And then from here, we can just open up Lumion and now we will be able to check if everything loaded in properly. If you've already done the first two videos, which I'm assuming most of you have, then you're already going to know how to do this. It's just in case someone clicked on this video and hadn't seen the other parts. Uh, I just wanted to quickly run through that, but like that's pretty much the entire tutorial. We're just going to quickly go in, make sure that they load it up. I'm just going to show off a couple of the materials and then that will be the end of part three. Uh, and yeah, as I said, part four is probably going to be uh, more of the same just with half the materials because I think that there's still 30 that I'm missing. Uh, and the other parts had 70. So let's open up Villa Cabrera. Okay. That's open. Let's take a little test here. So I know that one of the materials was called, well, I know red mudstones. That was one of them. So I'll just click on that. So that, that is telling us that they loaded in no problem. So let's see how they look. And as I mentioned, the other parts too, some of the map scales are messed up. So you just have to crank this up a little bit and then everything should look good. I find that this preset kind of has some weird shadows. So I'll just throw this on. And then I think that looks a little bit better. So you can get a better idea of kind of how the material looks. And if you think that this is looking a little bit strong, you can always turn the relief down a little bit or change it just to kind of fit the scene. Uh, I did kind of do these in a f fairly quickly so it may be missing some little tweaks here and there but for the most part all the maps are good to go all of the sliders are mostly good to go i try to as i said line them up the best as i can but you will have to tweak the map scale because those were just kind of defaulted to one and that's probably not what you want and then the last thing we'll do is we'll just check one of the stone materials that we brought in so we'll go outdoor stone and rough block wall. I know this is one that we just added in. So hopefully this one works, no problem as well. The And this is something I mentioned in other videos as well. These are pretty heavy assets, so I wouldn't go completely overboard with these. They are great to have, but I wouldn't put like 30 or 40 of them in one of your scenes. A lot of these are meant to be like the ground material or a wall material, so they are going to take up a lot of your scene, which that doesn't make it cost more. It's just that you don't need a ton of these to really populate your scene. If you are doing things that are a little bit smaller and doesn't don't need as much detail, I would recommend that you just use uh, one or 2K textures from Lumion. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to convert all of these into one and 2K format. I know that Polyhaven had mentioned that they would like that. So maybe down the road, I'll do that. But I wanted to focus on 4K first uh, because these should be a step up from the Lumion library, uh, the ones that ships with it. So let's just take a look at these and then, yeah, let's just quickly pop in rendered mode and everything is looking good. So yeah, 
If you found the video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like it and also subscribe to the channel if you're not. I do have some pretty cool videos coming on the pipeline now, so I would really appreciate it if you could stick around for those. As I mentioned in the previous videos as well, if you find any materials are, you know, something is wrong with them, the normal map is flipped, or maybe something just doesn't look right, let me know and I'll go in and adjust that and I'll make a little note of it. And if you are interested in seeing what material falls into what video, I have a list up on the a Google Sheets where I will put a link to that below. You can go and actually see what video you need to pull it from to get that particular material. And then you can also go and look at it directly on Polyhaven. There's also a link for that below. And you can just get a better idea how they are supposed to look. So I'm going to end the video there. Hopefully you'll all be joining me for part four and I'll see you then. Have a great day, everyone.